officially arrived to Las Vegas, y'all. Look musty. <laughs> we're gonna see you guys. We're gonna show you guys a little bit of the strip and then we'll show you guys the hotel. Alright, y'all. Per usual, we got the room tour going. This is where we're located. Floor 22. I don't know if that helps anybody. We have some lights here. It's actually pretty cool on the outside. It tells you... The following. Getting into the review of this room here. We got a little, okay, let's see. Ooh, nice. It's a tub slash little shower combo. All right. And then we got the bathroom. Um, this is the lighting in here. Pretty good protection. Pretty good. The hair looks wild. Per use. Honestly, awesome. you guys want to know a fun fact? Last time, Claudia and I went on vacation. Well, two vacations ago. We paid for a tub. We didn't even end up going in the tub. So. A hot tub. A hot tub, yeah. And then it comes with some uh, bathrobes. I'm guessing that's the same thing. Yeah. I imagine it's the same thing, but just for fun. That's okay. good. You can hang up all our clothes, and there's plenty of drawers. Plenty of drawers in here. Nice mirror, also for pictures. Mirror. Thermostat. And very cute room. Thermostat. Okay. Look how pretty. I would like my house to look like this. Very nice. It has a aesthetic. whole aesthetic going. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Well, What's supposed to be really nice are the views. We're up on the 22nd floor. Alright, guys. Let's see if this lives up to the hype. And also, guys, I was told that everything in this fridge is weight censored. So if you. Don't even touch it. Don't even touch it. Don't, see it. Don't even open it. If you pick something up and then drop it, you will be charged for it. And there is a razor in here, guys. I actually do need a razor, but That's I could probably find a. $30. I could probably find a cheaper one at Walgreens. Okay, hey guys. Okay, so guys. There's actually something here that allows you to control the whole room. And so, as you can see, there's one that says drapes. So, we were struggling before. And let's open, open it up. For both. You want to face the thing? Whoa. Oh, whoa. Okay, it lives up to the hype. Look how pretty. I'm sure at night it's gonna be crazy. All right, y'all. First night out on the strip with Claudia. We got ready. And uh, we're about to head over to grab a quick little bite. So we are gonna catch y'all over there. Um, give you guys a rating on what we think. All right.
today is a new day, day two, the morning of day two. Claudia and I, um, very nicely. How 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 would you describe these beds are very comfortable, y'all. It's the Aria Hotel. These beds are comfortable. Uh, peep peep the pajamas. You feel me? I got that Ralph on me, cause even when I sleep, I gotta be drippy. Only thing, y'all, I woke up today with the little stuffy nose. I think that's from visiting all the casinos. You know, you gotta walk through casinos to get into your spot. And then you just, in order to get to any restaurant or anything on the strip, there's casinos. Yeah, so the plan for today, Clyde and I don't really have a plan, but we're gonna hit up this place called Egghead slash a place called Egg Slut, all right? And then from there, we were thinking of hitting, there's two sides of the Las Vegas Strip. We're thinking of hitting one side today and another side tomorrow. So when we came in on our, um, you know, on our bus yesterday, we saw one side of the Strip um, and Claudia and I have been here before. So, you know, we might have to hit up the side where M&M Factory is, oh, M&M World. And then there's like this Hershey, like you could make s'mores there. Um, so we might have to hit that side of the strip. And that's that's the part closest to us. We might have to do that first. And then after tomorrow, you know, hit the other side of the strip. Which honestly, I don't even know what they have there. And then we're gonna have to hit Tacos El Gordo today as well. Long story short. We're gonna that. go get ready for breakfast. See you guys later. Watching all the way from Inglewood, California, this guy right here, he is strong as hell. Watching. Fellas, if you want a body like that, all you have to do is spend five years in your local penitentiary. You'll come on looking just like him. Let's go. Watch him. There you go. Hey. They do that. For the ladies. Hey guys, we are at what is it? Ow! Hey, the oh, south the end, Venetian. south end of the strip, I think, or north. Who knows? We're at the Venetian, and I'll show you the view. Very nice. We've been walking around. That's about it. Have we been doing anything crazy? We've Kinda just walking. been going hotel hopping we've just been looking at the inside of every hotel um, not every but some <laughs> i mean pretty much every single hotel that we've passed along the strip that's of memorable of noticeable of, of name we've gone in we saw caesar's palace we saw the mirage we saw bellagio, bellagio. now we're inside the venetian I love the Venetian, that is my personal fave, so I'm excited to show Manny, even though I think he's seen it, but oh well. Which other one? I feel like there's been more. And then we've hopped inside a whole bunch of like... Like little malls. Shopping centers and malls. Like the, I think it's called the Forum, the one that's connected to Caesar's Palace and yeah. something else. The stores in Bellagio. Yeah, we went inside Cool Kicks, which they have a store in LA. And it was pretty nice, honestly, it was, it was really big. 
Yeah. Well, uh, we, we booked a, a meeting for a timeshare, yeah. So, as a result, we get discounted tickets to Mad Apple. Mad Apple. Which is a Cirque du Soleil show. Yeah, which now we're trying to get out of because in the moment, Claudia didn't say that she didn't want to go. I mean, I didn't want to go either, but we're going to try and figure out a way. He'd be lying. See. But anyways, we'll tell you more probably when we're at the hotel. But we'll insert some clips of what we've seen so far today. Yeah, we're walking we're towards see. Tacos El Gordo. And I really wish I had my Apple Watch on now. That way I can know how much I've been That's watching. That's true. Do you have no, I don't. Ones? I didn't bring Neither of us have ours on. So we don't know how many steps we've been taking. But we've been walking since like 1130. I'm sure we've hit our 10,000 steps by now. Yeah. It's very cold. No one tells you that Vegas is cold. I feel like it's colder than San Francisco right now. Yeah, it's I'm freezing. Cool. It's uh, it's pretty windy. That's what it is. Yeah, but so I like cool. the lighting here, so we might take a selfie after this. Um, but yeah, we'll show you guys some other stuff later. See ya. back from the club just leaving right now it's like 1 30. let's the... do a little fit check what the heck <laughs> it's too cold i would show you your, your boy just got a blue little polo with uh honestly y'all i wouldn't really wear this north face with this but i only brought one jacket for the trip and i got the uh the little the little purple jeans and the little gucci belt that's what i'm rocking today and I'm very hungry, so we're going to see what's open. I think there's a Taco Bell and a McDonald's. But yeah, here we are. So we'll show you guys what we grab. Pretty Vegas. Are we going to grab it to go or are we going to eat it there? Uh, doesn't matter. We can do it to go. All right. We'll show you the food when we get it. All right, guys. This is Manny's meal. Post club meal. Post club meal. It looks a little sad, but trust me. Time for an honest review of the Marquee nightclub. All right, Claudia, what are, what were your thoughts? I thought, so it's a Wednesday, by the way. Wednesday night, and the guy who like got us onto the guest list for free, whatever, the promoter, he said the Marquee is the only club open on Wednesday. Whether that's true or not, we don't know. We didn't fact check him. But given that, it was pretty crowded and pretty busy. We showed up, what would you say, around like 11.30? Like 11. 11, and we left around 1.30ish. Um, no, but the music was really good. I had a really good time. Um, it was a pretty small room. I heard in general there's like three different floors or something. There's like an outdoor by the pool. There's a hip hop floor and an EDM floor. This time it was just like one hip hop floor. 
actually i used to be a club promoter at one point in my life fun fact about me for a small local club in san francisco um there were probably like a hundred people yeah maybe and then like a decently sized room so it looked pretty packed it was really hard to move honestly it was very packed yeah honestly the reviews say that like it's one of the biggest clubs that they've ever gone to but from what i saw it wasn't it wasn't that big but yeah but i think i think it's because today's a wednesday like it's not i mean most people aren't clubbing on a wednesday i will say it's really cool in vegas you either message a promoter on instagram or you like see them on the street when you're walking to the hotels and stuff and they'll get you into any hotel for free they just ask for your name and your number so they text you something you just show them that at the door and then you don't have to pay anything to get in so i think that's definitely the move but don't get scammed into buying drinks guys i saw on yelp they have like 70 dollar drinks or something which is absurd you guys we came across this club promoter uh, we were walking down the strip and some dude just came up to us and claudia doesn't really like talking to strangers so i very much do but I was just like, let me hear this guy out. And it's a good thing we heard him out because had it not been for him, mm -hmm. we wouldn't have hit the club. It was inside the Cosmopolitan. Yeah, which happens to be right, like the hotel right next door to us. So it was very convenient. Still a little bit of a walk, but pretty close one. That was our review overall, 10 out of 10. The back of my nose hurts right now, slash my throat kind of hurts. I don't know why, but wish me luck I love y'all right. what's up y'all so morning. today Claudia and I are up early we just came back or no we didn't come up from anywhere we came from the club at like we two. slept at like 3 a.m okay. now it's 9 a.m so we're up we're on some bullshit we're on some bullshit right now we're headed to a fucking timeshare y'all because all right. Presentation. all right this is what happened like i never thought this show would ever happen to me and honestly i should have just skipped this bullshit too but i could believe it this is what happened like so you know how i was talking to strangers on the strip one guy ended up being helpful he helped us get into the club so i figured you know what let me just keep talking to vendors and shit like that it'll be fine i speak to one lady i'm trying to go to a show right she's selling tickets to go to Mind a show you, this is at the mall at a, In kiosk. a kiosk so i figured it's legit I figured it's legit. I didn't know what he was doing, and it was too late by the time I freaking realized. Anyways, we're talking to this lady. She's like, oh, yeah, I got tickets, specials, whatever. I'm ready to pay full price. I don't even care about specials, any of that. And then she goes, um, all right, yeah, I'm going to sell you these tickets. Next thing you know, I'm signing paperwork. And then at the Giving very away end, your credit at, card the, number? at the very end, she drops us with the, yeah, with these tickets. You, you can go if uh you go to this presentation you have to go to a timeshare meeting at 9 15 in the morning so listen to an hour and a half 90 minutes the paper's at 120 though but anyways a presentation of them trying to sell us something we we're young we don't have the money to buy a timeshare not only that y'all I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to get no little time shit. Oh, that shit's a little scam, y'all. It but is a scam. Anyways, like, they took my credit card information, and if you don't go, like... There's a chance he'll, they'll charge him, so charged. we don't want to really risk that. Yeah, so... Anyways, we're gonna go and just tell him no. And then what we get out of this is Cirque du Soleil tickets. And some gambling money, apparently. That are full price, y'all. Like, these are full price tickets. Like, we don't get... Like, this isn't <laughs> anything special. Anything we don't get this. anything, like... Anyways, but here we, are, here we are, waiting for our Uber that luckily they called for us. Yeah. That's the one perk, I guess. I actually need to track them, so I think that so, might be it. Yeah, talk to y'all later. later. Alright guys, I don't think we've showed you this mall. But it's filled with a whole bunch of designer stores. Gucci, Burberry, Louis Vuitton, Alexander McQueen. And we're staying in the Aria. They have Prada. Creed. Uh, they got Balenci, but y'all know Balenci's canceled, so we're not going to show them. Um, Canada Goose, Bulgari. They literally have anything you could think of. Audemars Piguet. Like, these spots are crazy. Alright, guys, we are at Wicked Spoon. That's what we got here. 
this is all the areas that you can get food. That's the dessert. Over there, that's the Asian section. Over here is like all the meats. And then over there is like breakfast and all that. All right, guys. It is safe to say that we ate way too much food. I'm so full, I'm gonna die. My stomach literally is killing me, all right. We had two an all-you-can-eat buffet. It was it's cool. we could 45 each. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 45 each, but so it came out to $97, but luckily, included with our hotel situation we had like a hundred dollars of credit dining credit dining credit so if you're staying in the aria well here's the thing i don't know they just randomly called me and told me that so i don't know if that's for everyone or some random promotion they have going or because i booked with my american express travel i have no idea mm -hmm. but long story short that came in clutch that covered our lunch for today and we didn't have breakfast so it's technically both so we're hella tired we don't really have plans today other than needing to go to m and m world because many needs to and then but in the meantime we're gonna take a nap y'all i know we're so tired we're not watching tv catch up with y'all later later on our way to uh the m and m world probably gonna get some dinner somewhere and probably do a little bit of gambling so we will keep y'all posted when we hit that How do you say what's up? We are currently at Black Top. Black Top. <laughs> Black Rock. Today's a new day, y'all. I got scammed. I'll tell you guys more about the story in a bit. I paid $150 to get tickets to a show that I never got tickets to. And then I had to go to a presentation. And then we went to the presentation, it was super long. So we ended up getting finessed. That timeshare presentation we were talking about, they give you free stuff at the end of it. And we got charged $150 to go to a free presentation. So this person was just trying to finesse the system. And then they charge us money, but the receipt says, doesn't mention how much we were charged for it. So it was kind of sketchy, y'all, but anyway, and I didn't sign it, so. But anyways, we're currently here at Black Top. We also were given some vouchers to go gamble, and we used them, and the casino was asked, and they were designated seats to gamble at. So you already know we were gonna lose, and we did lose. So now we're grabbing some lunch before we leave. Our flight is at 3.30, I believe. So we're gonna show you guys the food that we eat and then that's gonna be a trip, yeah? Hey guys, hey.